Beat is powered by kslsports.com. Well, it doesn't even matter that it's the preseason. The fact of the matter is the Jazz played in a basketball game against a team that's not their own. Even if it was a team from Australia, Jazz basketball is still back in our state. Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, Mike Conley, they didn't play. But how about this? One of the newest Jazz men, forward Jeff Green, got off to a hot start. The steal and the dunk. He was also connecting from outside range, knocked down a pair of three-pointers. He scored 16 points for the Jazz tonight in his starting role. He was also developing early connection with another new Jazz man, Boyan Bogdanovich. Look at this pass, the alley-oop up to Jeff Green for the dunk. Boyan, he was also dialed in from downtown. He hit a pair of three-pointers, showed his ability to get to the hoop in the game as well, scoring 10 points, and the Jazz, big winners in their preseason debut. Well, Utah State went down to Louisiana to face the fifth-ranked team in the country in hopes to pull off a miracle. The Aggies instead, they're returning home on the losing end of things. Still a good effort. Here's Jeremiah Jensen with the Aggies in Baton Rouge. Let's be honest. The chances of Utah State coming here to Death Valley and knocking off fifth-ranked LSU were pretty slim. Vegas said they were 28-point underdogs. Vegas was right. But it could have been a lot more competitive had the Aggies taken advantage of several opportunities in the game, especially in the first half. This one hurt badly. A Cam Haney interception only led to a field goal in the first quarter. There were too many drops by receivers. This one by Caleb Rep could have been a touchdown. And too many third down conversions given up by the defense. Utah State entered this game ranked ninth in the nation in total offense. The LSU defense held the Aggies to just 145 yards in the first three quarters. Those guys are really good. I mean, they have a good running game. They have a great quarterback. So they just made plays, and we didn't. So You know, it's very frustrating because today, if you look at it, we won the turnover margin. I mean, we're supposed to capitalize off of all, I don't know how many turnovers, like three, four turnovers they had. We're supposed to capitalize off of all those turnovers, and that played a big part of why we lost today. We don't break the huddle every day at practice and say, you know, beat LSU. Um, we say Mountain West champs, uh, and that is our ultimate goal. So. But, but you can't forget these moments. Um, they're huge. You have to be able to look at them. You have to be able to, again, swallow them, digest them, deal with them, uh, never forget them, put them in your rearview mirror. But there has to be a little bit of that piece of that rearview mirror that you see in any time you face adversity. And hey, we're facing adversity right now. Um, and it's a big piece of adversity where we have to get better. So again, we challenge ourselves, everybody in the program, to find a way to be able to get better. We come in some Monday morning at 7 o'clock and we get ourselves ready for the next game. To make matters worse, the Aggies got pretty banged up in this game. C.O.C. Mariner and Caleb Rep were in slings on the sideline. Tepanaliai also had to leave the game with an injury. They'll try to heal up and rest up during the bye week before hosting Nevada on October 19th. In Baton Rouge, I'm Jeremiah Jensen, Sports Beat. Thank you, J.J. Well, Weber State, they brought us some winning football to the state. Kevin Smith, he's going to take the handoff against Idaho, drags a defender on his way to a touchdown. Weber State wins that one 41 to 35. Southern Utah University also on the road up at Portland State, down 10-0 in the second quarter. T-Birds get on the board with a Chris Helbig touchdown pass to Lance Lawson, but SUU on the losing end tonight, 52 to 31. We'll be right back.